If you go back to the Apollo era, while we were going to the moon, people forgetting that we went there as a militaristic um, statement, that people who forgot that said, oh, we're on the moon by 1969, we'll be on Mars by 1985. They were just extending a, a, a timeline that they thought was a natural, inevitable thing. And nothing that's expensive is ever inevitable. So that's the foundations of my comment. And, and in terms of going to Mars as a survival plan, if you think about uh, what could put life at risk here on Earth, uh, that could include the global very serious pandemic, or asteroid strikes, or we trash the climate, whatever. Um, to think of Mars as Earth 2.0 could only really happen after you terraform Mars. And the point I made, which was not in your clip, was if you have the power of geoengineering to terraform Mars, then you have the power of geoengineering to fix Earth and turn Earth back into Earth.